So today we're going to be modding a PS2. At the end of this video you'll have a memory card that will be able to soft mod any PS2. But for this video you're going to need a fat PlayStation 2 and a network adapter with a hard drive that will work with it and a way to plug it into your computer. We're then going to download the two files that we need with the links in the description and then open up the folder FHDB and extract the zip file that's in it. You're going to have a image file that's been extracted which we're going to need to flash to our hard drive which should be plugged into your computer. So we're going to open up HDD raw copy as administrator and navigate to the image file that we extracted as our source. We're then going to navigate to our hard drive as our target and we'll then proceed to flash the image file to our hard drive. This is going to get pretty much a free hard drive boot installed onto the PlayStation hard drive. And as soon as you plug it into your PlayStation, your PlayStation will be modded. So that's completed. We're then going to plug in a USB stick. And we're going to format it to FAT32. You can name it to whatever you want, but I'm going to name it the PS2 FMCB for free McBoot. We're going to then copy the contents of the other folder FMCB to our USB stick that we just formatted and then go to our PS2. We're going to set up our PS2 by unplugging everything and taking the cover off the expansion bay at the back of the PS2. What you need is a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to get the USB enclosure out of the way. And it should just pry off fairly easily. There's no screws. Now for your hard drive, you're going to want to make sure that its jumper setting is the cable select or this might not work. Then plug in your hard drive to the network adapter and just slide it in. Push firmly and tighten the screws. It only needs a few turns. One, then two, and that should be it. Now there are network adapters that will have SATA ports available on eBay, and apparently they work no problem, but I haven't tried them myself. But I might add a link in the description just in case. So we'll plug everything back up. Plug in the USB. Plug back in the memory card. Controller. And there we go. So once you boot up the PlayStation 2, you're going to notice it takes a little bit longer to boot normally. This is because it takes longer to boot from the hard drive than it would normally without it or through your memory card, which is where people normally have free memory card boot installed or free Mac boot. As you'll see, we now have free hard drive boot version 1.966. In our browser, check out our hard drive, which doesn't really have anything on it. And then check out our memory card. Now, to install free memory card boot, it needs to be an official Sony memory card. Well, we're just checking out the specs. These are all the apps that come with 
free hard drive boot and you can copy them down the road to free memory card boot if you'd like. Check out extras. Not too much here. Now to install free memory card boot, we're just gonna wanna navigate to an L file on our mass storage, which is our USB. But we're gonna wanna format our memory card first. So we're gonna pick a memory card. It is in German, but when in doubt, press X. I wouldn't change any settings. You're gonna wanna push over and then select. This will take only a couple seconds. Check mark means good. And I would restart the PlayStation. I wasn't too sure how to exit out of this app. Okay, so it's restarting. It's going to take a few seconds again to boot because it's booting from the hard drive. And we got free make boot. Now we got a freshly formatted memory card. We're going to want to navigate to the ULE launcher. Press circle to go to the file explorer. Go down to mass, which is our USB. Go down to the installer. Now, I've already installed Freemic Boot on here. I forgot to press record, so I'm gonna uninstall it really quick. And install. We're going to do cross model, cross regional apparently has issues sometimes. So cross model is generally all you're going to need because what's the chances of you're going to see an outer region PlayStation 2. Now this usually takes about 10 minutes or about a minute to do. I've sped it up about five times, but once it finishes, you could exit out and it should boot right into the free McBoot. And you'll notice at the top the difference. It's not free hard drive boot, it's free McBoot. So, I'll show you that it'll work on other PlayStations as well. different revisions of PlayStations as well. So I'll show you a PlayStation 2 Slim. It's same thing. Plug in the memory card. over so whenever you plug in that memory card to any ps2 it will automatically boot in the free mic boot in the next video i'll show you how to load games onto your playstation 2's hard drive and play games from your network storage anyways Hope you liked it, like and subscribe.